Hello, I'm John Oates. I'm a senior lecturer in the Child and Youth Studies Research Cluster here at the Open University. We're a group of researchers in developmental psychology and childhood studies, and we're particularly interested in making a positive difference for children's lives. A lot of what we do is international, especially where children and families are affected by poverty, disability or other disadvantages. We found that parents and practitioners really welcome being able to better understand children's developmental progress. So we've been working on producing charts like these, which are in the Development Matters part of the Early Years Foundation stage. Some people call this the nappy curriculum, but it's very much based on research into children's developmental progress. Linked with Development Matters, I also led a team to produce this developmental journal, which is for parents of disabled children. This has been very popular. We've distributed more than 25,000 copies to practitioners, to parents, to earlier settings, and particularly to children's centres. It's important for me to keep in touch with how these materials are used, and I often visit sure start settings like this one, Hedgerows, which is in Milton Keynes, very close to the Open University. Tina Price heads up this centre, and she and her team have been using Development Matters and the Developmental Journal to track children's progress and help with transition into primary school. So what difference has it made, Tina, to um, your practice using the Developmental Journal? It's been really invaluable, especially for parents and for the practitioners at the centre. For example, um, parents can take them home, they can measure the development of their child with the earliest foundation stage um, and development matters. Um, and also in terms of the Children's Centre teachers being able to support parents with children with additional needs. So for example, um, they can link uh, for meetings with professionals, measure the development of the child and explain that to the, to the parent and they can really use that as a tool at home. This is the 8th district, one of the poorest parts of Budapest. I've come to the Josef Varosh Children's Centre, one of the Shore Start centres. Staff and parents use the materials to help children who may be falling behind because of difficult family situations or disability. Lena Silvasi led the project to set up the Shore Start programme. There are, of course, many uh, uh, ways of monitoring children's development used by health professionals, uh, by psychologists, by early intervention professionals, uh, but none of them could be used universally uh, within this age group to monitor the development from zero to five. It would be either for one age or the other age or for this problem or that problem. But this developmental uh, scheme uh, made it possible to, to this universal use. I just got back from Hungary where it was announced that the Sure Start programme there is being extended as a national service. Here in England, I'm working on a new project funded by the Department for Education in the Early Support Programme, which is extending the developmental journal concept for disabled children up through the school years, and this is based around an app for mobile devices. This is just one example of how research by my colleagues and I is making a real positive difference for children's lives. Music